Scotty McClue. And a very, very warm welcome tonight to our pop-up. Now, I'm just thinking about the time here. It's coming up to 10 minutes to 10. 10 minutes to 10 on Thursday evening, Thursday the 2nd of June. How amazing is that? And everybody's joining us. Dinky do. Hello. Hello, Kareem. How lovely to have you with us. The lines should be open, Kareem, if you wanted to come on for a wee chit chat. And remember to stay on to assault the microphone if you can't hear me. Fantastic. Thank you, do, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say you're watching Scotty McClue on the night of Her Majesty the Queen's Jubilee. And I thought you'd all want a chat. There was some football on last night. And that was a bit strange. I can't tell you. But there we are. Uh, we'll see who this is. I think that's uh, our Kareem. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ah, oh, Kareem, wonderful. Well done for getting through. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? He should be able to get through. The mic's are live. Yes, not a problem. And uh, I could hear him. Could he hear me? Hello? Scotty, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can, Kareem. Excellent. There we go. That's it. There we are. All sorted. All right. Oh. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfect, Scotty. Excellent, wonderful stuff. So we seem to have the microphone working tonight. Good. Yes, no, always a little gremlin somewhere. Yes, oh, absolutely. That's just uh, working online. But having said that, it's pretty good. Yes, yes. It's no, it's pretty good. Scotty. Now, how are we tonight? I got too bad, Scotty. I've enjoyed my first day off. Uh -huh. um, so I watched little bits of the Jubilee on, on the social media and I was just relaxed, really, so not yeah. too bad. Well, a lot of good feedback on here. Hi from Wales. Good evening, Sir Scotty, says the wonderful Geo Dog in South Africa. Robert Strinter says, good evening, Scotty, and a wonderful jubilee to Her Majesty the Queen. Hi, Scotty, says Susan. And good evening, Scotty, says Stevie. So that's rather good, isn't it? Yes. Well, Scotty, there was stuff again on about the, the monarchy earlier on in social yeah. media, and I went on to your TikTok, and yes. one of your videos that goes through it all explaining everything about the monarchy, I've just cut and paste that into these uh, numpties comments. Excellent, so Jim. Yes. Yeah. So, the, and I'll continue to do that now whenever I see something that's very silly. Because that will, that will tell them something. all about it, and I sent greetings to Her Majesty today on uh, TikTok and uh, it's yes. up on YouTube as well. Yes. Yeah, you know? I've seen and of course we've got the usual uh, idiots going, you don't speak for me and all that rubbish. We speak for mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. No, I, I think, the, I do think uh, hopefully, as I say, as the build-up to the referendum comes, yes. uh, there'll be a lot more of this for people talking about the monarchy or just publican as we spoke yesterday. Yes. But that video, you do explain everything and you go in great detail. So for people to, everything that they've said, you've answered those questions in that video. Uh, Bless you, Karine. Thank you for that. Because sometimes, as you know, you feel you're, uh, you know, talking to the wall, so to speak. Yeah. Yes, yes, the yes. Queen, a lady of true grace, says Geodog. Hello, Scotty. Sorry I'm late, says uh, the wonderful followers back. And you are cool, says Who's <laughs> Megan. I think that's lovely. Thank you, Who's Megan. Get sharing, everybody. Get following. Yes. So, uh, I, I've not got much to say tonight, Scotty, at all. It's just really that I wanted to, say, to share with you. That, that video now, I will be sharing that all the time. Whenever Wonderful, Kareem. Thank you for that, because we need to get that out there. And please share the good wishes one made today as well. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, because I think everybody needs to realise where we need to be coming from if we're wanting to be taken seriously as making a bid for independence. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. We spoke in depth yesterday about all the stuff. That I've, I, I think now is the time to speak. Because yeah. there's too many people out there that just still don't know. And the problem is that a lot of people don't educate themselves, don't spend the time to go out and research things. You know, they, there's a lot of things about hearsay or, oh, I heard this. So I have that and I have that. You see, where did you hear that from? Yeah. You see, yeah. I'll tell you another thing, Kareem, we've touched on this before. Can I just say hello 
Uh, there's JD Donnelly, Dinky Do, JD Donnelly, and thank you to CB Gamer for 10 beautiful red roses. Can everybody on TikTok start following Scotty McClue right now and sharing this and looking at the videos and liking and sharing? Very, very important. Now, I've got Kareem on the line here, and we've touched on this before, Kareem, but I think that there needs to be... Um, you know, an actual sea change in understanding of what's uh, happening with the monarchy. Because we do uh, want to be taken seriously. And, you know, it's 50% at least of the vote. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? No, uh, I understand that and I, I accept that. And I've had, friend, I've had arguments with some of our friends who are actual Rangers supporters yes. that... They, they, they don't know the facts. They said the Queen will still be the head of state. The Queen will be going nowhere. There's nothing wrong. Oh, but no, there's no hours of work. But the, the, the monarchy has more Scots, Scottish blood in it oh, than anything else. Huge. So, I mean, absolutely. Uh, Robert the Bruce was was an ancestor. Um, Malcolm the Second was a direct ancestor of the Queen's father. Prince Charles uh, has got Stuart blood in him. You know, I mean, uh, the bloodlines are incredible. The, the the breeding, if you like, for the job. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just huge. You know, and and it's interesting. And a woman today saying all young, all uh, children are created equal. Nobody's arguing with that. Uh, you know, uh, it's not the equality of the creation. Just because you're born into something doesn't mean uh, you're unequal. Well, interesting enough, Scotty, there was a comment someone, the, the, the video that I added, what you were saying to, was somebody that was put the comment that I don't like the monarchy, I don't like the Prince William McLeg's lines yet because they've been, they've been born into that and they look down upon people. And no, they don't. They don't look down upon people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what kind of decent human being would ever look down on anybody? And where are you looking down from? This is imagination. I mean, I can tell you right now, you know, if you're born into that, that's the gig. How do you get out of that? You look at yeah. Harry tried to make a bid to get out, you know, and you're, you're painted as a, as a yeah. dreadful character. And um, Edward yeah. VIII tried to get out, uh, painted as a dreadful character and castigated into the wilderness. People need to remember that you just need to walk around the corner where you stay and there's probably a posh estate and the people there will be looking down at you. You're probably a lot worse. You see, at least that the, ro the royal family are going out and they're, they're giving back to society, they're doing things. Yeah. Whereas you, you go around the corner, these people couldn't give a damn about me. You see, here's a couple of half-wits here. There's Cozy yeah. Loris. If you want the royal family, you can pay for them. Well, we don't need to pay for them. They pay for themselves. And then some, that's the first one, and there's Zach just been daft, abolish the monarchy. Why? There is no case for the abolition of the monarchy. No case. You know, so it's, it's just a nonsense. These people are just coming from a point of ignorance. Yeah, I think they need to do a wee Google search to find out what are the benefits of the monarchy. Look for what they actually do to the poor, each country. And, okay, every royal family throughout the world, every, um, there's always going to be history about something in the past, yes, but course. that's the past. And don't get me wrong, the British past hasn't been, it's been far from perfect, but what country has well, been perfect? No, no country has been perfect because they're all yeah. after extra money, extra territory, you know, <laughs> wars, the whole lot. None of that is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but you can't Absolutely. you can't just become a historical revisionist, uh, you know, and say things didn't happen and things uh, didn't happen in the name of the king or the name of the queen. But it's still a first class system, particularly the modern monarchy that is, uh, you know, fit for the twenty first century. Well, could I could I add and then if that's the case about people talking about the monarchy and, and the blood pass, let's just say what you can Use the exact same example to the Christian crusade. Yes. How many innocent people were killed in the name of God? Yes. You know, and, 
as if that doesn't seem to be get mentioned, that seems to be forgotten about. Well, I, that, that's, that gets forgotten about. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the whole thing. I 